Hi, uh, in this screencast, I will go through the process of uploading a Carnatic music CD to Music Brains. Uh, in the earlier screencast made by Sartan, uh, it covers the general process of uploading a CD to Music Brains. So, I will skip the initial part and proceed to things which are specific to Carnatic music. Uh, the list of things I cover in this video will include uploading a release which has more than one CD and spelling ambiguities and ways to resolve them without creating uh, duplicates, the case where a single track has more than one raga. So, for the first case where we have multiple CDs per release, the solution is to organize them into uh, subfolders. So, in this release we have three CDs and I have created uh, one, for, one folder for each of them uh, and placed them in a parent folder which, which has the name of the release. Now, uh, once we have done this, open a mp3 tagger and drop one of the CDs contents in there. Now, make sure all the tracks are selected and the disk number here is uh, having the appropriate value for this CD. In this case, it is CD1 and the disk number should be 1 and also make sure that e the track number of each of these uh, tracks uh, has the correct, correct value and do this for the, for the rest of the CDs. I have already done uh, for this particular release. And one, once we are done with each of these CDs, now uh, drop the contents of all the CDs and make sure all of them are selected and the album corresponds to a single uh, name. So, in this case, it is this name. And once this is done, open Picard and drop this whole release into the Picard and cluster it. It falls into the same cluster and uh, look it up because I have already uploaded it, it, it found it, but uh, to show you that uh, we can actually uh, find the CDs listed properly in the music brains uploader, we will go ahead and add it as a release and see the track list. So, here it puts uh, tracks according to the disk numbers and track numbers. So, in disk 1, so it all these tracks have the disk number as 1 and track numbers appropriately labeled. So, all these tracks are correctly labeled and hence they are put in uh, corresponding disks. So, that is the first problem. And so, once we have uploaded the release, uh, this is the page where we end up, the release page. And now, we have to establish the relations between the entities, various entities such as artists, tracks and uh, works. For the purpose of our screencast, I would like to choose the sixth track of the third CD in this release, but I will skip uh, relating it to vocalists and instrument players because that has been covered in the uh, first screencast. I uh, will go ahead and uh, relate the track to its work, but to do that I need to see if the work previously exists and if it exists, it is properly related to its composers and lyricists. So, I will copy this and see if it already exists and to be sure that this is the correct spelling of the work, I will just google it and I find that there is one more popular spelling for this work and I go for it and I find that this indeed is the correct spelling because uh, here there is the spelling in Telugu which is more unambiguous and this particular uh, spelling in Latin corresponds to this one in Telugu. So, I go for it, select it and paste it here. 
still I do not find it. So, the work is probably not there. So, I add the work. So, adding the work is here editing and add work and I enter the edit. The work is created, but we have to make sure uh, that it is properly related to its composer and lyricist. For that, we will refer to uh, the cover art. So, in CD3 track 6, Chinta Nastikila. So, it is by Sadashiva Brahmendra. So, even the artist name has to be verified so that we, we, have, we follow the general convention of the names. So, the name is Sadashiva Brahmendra. So, I search for it and I find it in Wikipedia, which will be our standard uh, reference for all the spellings indeed. The artists, ragas and talas, uh, we will be depending on Wikipedia all the time. So, if you find uh, some artist or some raga or some tala which does not exist in Wikipedia, search for it and find some uh, the spelling which is mostly followed and create a stub page in Wikipedia. So, creating a stub page in Wikipedia is pretty easy, I will not cover it here. There are pretty many tutorials on online uh, talking about it. So, this is the correct spelling of the composer. We go to the work, here is the recording and here is the work and I relate composer to work. So, composer is also an artist. So, I paste it here. There is no Sadasiva Brahmendra in uh, music brains. So, I try with other spellings, but there is it is not there. So, I add an artist with his name. So, short name will be I mean it is automatically generated. So, he is a person, I know he is a male, he is from India and if he can, if you can find some birth information, you can enter it there, but it is very vague here. So, we will skip that. So, for artist you can also uh, relate him to an URL because we here we have a Wikipedia URL, it is always helpful to um, have the URL linked to the artist page. He has a Wikipedia page at here. So, here it shows up and now we, are, we have created the uh, artist and now we will relate him to the work. So, uh, whenever you create a new entity, it, it does not automatically show up in the search uh, because it is not indexed very soon. So, we try with direct search. So, now it finds. He composed it and he also written it, he has also written it. So, we will do both. Again, it is the same artist. He has written the lyrics. So, we are done with relating the work to its composer. So, we created an artist, related the work to its composer and lyricist. And now, we copy the work name and go to the recording, relate the recording to its work. Again, this is not found by uh, the indexed search. So, we try with direct search. So, it finds. This is the work we created and the, that is by the artist uh, which we have just related. So, this is a 
performance this this particular recording is a performance of this work and here we have to mention the date where it is performed and it, if it is a live performance we have to check this so we see on the cover art that this is a live recording so we check the live part and there is also a date which is 1968 and look for the month and the day but they are not there 1968 so beginning is 1968 end is 1968 so this particular recording is a live performance of this work on on so on so date we are done with relating the record with the work so now here it neatly shows up every relation it this particular recording has so it is the live performance of this particular work on this particular date and the works composer and lyricist are so and so and it has this many performances for instance if this particular work has many other performances they show up here too we are now done with uh, relating the track to its work which in turn is related to the composer and the lyricist we now proceed to tag this track with uh, its raga and tala here uh, we might encounter in a few cases the third problem which we will talk about in this screencast and that is a track with multiple ragas so uh, we go to tags and see what raga this uh, particular uh, track is in it is in shankarabaranam and aditalam so we see for the spelling again just to make sure that uh, we are entering the correct spelling for the ragas and talas well uh, yeah the first shankarabaranam refers to a film in telugu and we go for the next shankarabaranam which is this this seems to be a raga so we go there and see that dira shankarabaranam which it has spellings in all the indian languages commonly known as shankarabaranam so which is the same raga and we copy the spelling and paste it here that is this dira shankarabaranam raga aditala so let's search for aditala in wikipedia so there is aditala adi is the spelling uh, for carnatic music we we follow the convention of t a a l a for uh, for tagging uh, carnatic music tracks on music brains so we follow the same and we tag it so in this case there is only one raga and uh, one tala but if you have more ragas and more talas mentioned per track we say uh, adi tala 1 dira shankarabaranam raga 1 comma saveri with the next raga is saveri raga 2 and the last tala is maybe uh, khanda chapu tala to make sure the spelling is correct make sure that uh, we follow the same convention that is to look up in wikipedia and if we don't find there make a google search and come up with a uh, the most common spelling for that entity whether it is uh, raga tala or artist and if it does not exist on wikipedia create uh, a stub entry on wikipedia so that's about it